so if you have short hair and you're trying to do some crochet let me show you how you do it um, so I got a haircut I think in May I don't remember I think in May and since May of course this is December since May I've always kept kept a shop and that's because anytime I braided my hair I started to get headaches like the touch of my hair just gives me headaches and so it even my scalp like just playing with my scalp gives me headache and so I decided to just go ahead and cut it short and so I haven't had braids I don't remember but I don't think I've had even braids this year so this is my first attempt of braiding for this year 2023 um, of course I can feel the pull on my sides um, I don't really have headaches because I did my own hair so I know how to not make it too tight or pull too much on the hair um since cutting my hair i stopped combing it i wash my hair maybe once or twice a week and i will grease my hair or keep it moist throughout the week also since it's winter i have been wearing a lot of hats that's why I stopped wearing wigs. I don't remember the last. Well, I think I've worn a couple of wigs um, this year. But my hair wasn't braided. It was just short bob wigs. So it was. I had a cap on and just a wig on. For just a couple of hours. Even wigs. <laughs> I am not sure what's going on with my hair. But even wigs doesn't work anymore. It's like I'm going crazy when I put anything over my head. And so um, I've been wearing lots of hats since it's winter. But um, I wanted to do something different for the Christmas. Since wearing wigs is not doing, it's not helping. I decided to do some crochet. And of course I knew I wasn't going to keep the crochet in. But maybe a couple of days I decided to do my own hair. And so what I did was, since I have a short hair, like you can tell how short my hair is on the sides. I have more hair on the top and on the sides is very small. So since I'm not going to keep the crocheting for too long, maybe a couple of days, I decided to do my own hair. So I have rubber bands. I just put rubber bands at the base where I can um, pull the hair through to hold. Um, so if you have short hair and you want something different like a quick sewing quick um crochet this and you don't know how to break now i can do some cornrows my cornrows are not tight and so if i decide to crochet hair into my cornrows i don't think they're going to last but <laughs> tonight um on somebody's hair i may be able to do cornrows to last but my own hair for some reason I can't do tight cornrows or maybe because my hair is too short I don't know but my cornrows are not tight so this makes it a little tighter so of course I do have the white you see in this grease I just have some um, hair grease to oil my scalp before I put the hair on so um, I just did one two three four five rolls of one two three maybe five bantu knots so with the bantu knots when i do it i twist the tap so i can connect it to the of course my lines may not be straight but one thing i like about crochet is it doesn't have to be perfect the brace doesn't have to be perfect because the hair is going to be covered anyway so um yeah so i am going to show you guys how i put in and crochet is very simple all you have to do is just um put the needle in pull the hair through make a knot and keep it going 
So crochet is very easy. Um, if you are somebody who doesn't want to spend money on your hair, like I can keep braids in for too long. So therefore, and there's nothing new. I've always been somebody who doesn't keep braids for long because I can't. My hair starts to itch very bad. I remember when I used to get braids. It itches very bad. I start getting headaches. Then I scratch so much that I start getting so under my hair. So it was a hassle. For the longest, I felt like I always had to have something in my hair. But it got to a point I said, okay, I need to embrace my hair. So this is me now. It's short hair. And it's very easy, very comfortable. You have to grow to love it. So I know I'm not going to be too long, so I don't need to sit. Um, the hair that I am using is the Free Tress One Curl Braids. And this is how it looks like. Um, it was $10 a pack um, from the hair store. I think it's, you should be able to find this in any store, any hair store. So it's nothing special to the hair. And of course you can use it any kind of hair that you want. I like this because of the big curls. Because I don't want just straight down hair. I like the curls and also it drops after a while. So this is how one looks like. So they kind of, they kind of, um, a little jumble and of course I do have two pins over here um, because of my head being tender I am going to use the smaller one this is how small it is and so I'm going to start from the front because I like my front to be extra full so I can cover the back if if I need to, but the front is more important to me. So, so I'm just going to open it up like so. Pull it through. I'm not going to unravel the curls because I would like the curls to, and it hurts. Like <laughs> it hurts. I'm not going to unravel the curls because I would like the curls to last in case I decide to keep it for a couple of days so it will last. Alright, so that's the side it is. So we'll keep going. I'll put this in and we'll keep moving. So I'm going to put one on each braid, then come, in, come back and fill it in if I need to. So it looks like this. Looks like I didn't pick all the hair up. No, I did. So crochet is very easy. Even when I used to go to the salon, that was that's the hair that I'll usually get because it's very easy and quick. Even still, some people wanted to charge me the same amount as doing any other hair because I guess they felt like they could. Yeah, I've wasted some money over the years over my hair, but it's all good. I don't know if I... So like I said, one braid to each... Each braid. And I'm going to open the curls up to make it fuller. 
after I do it, I put them all in. Um, each pack comes with, I didn't even count. That's what two. So is it ten? Two, four, six, eight. So each pack comes with 16 of these in there. And I got three packs. So 16 times three. You do the math. Um, will I use this whole thing? I don't know. I like my hair full, so I don't know if I'll use the whole thing, but of course I'd like it to be full, so if that's what it's going to take, then yes. And so when you pull the hair through, all you're doing is open it back up and pass the hair through it. I think I'm missing some of the hair. I may have to go back and trim it. So it has extra hanging out. I think I look good in braids, but for some reason, I don't know if it's mental or it's just real, but for some reason, braids in my hair just not working for me anymore. And actually, I don't, I don't miss, I don't miss sitting for somebody to play in my hair. Yeah, it makes... It makes me itch. It makes just the thought of even having somebody braid my hair makes my head hurt. I guess I have the fear of getting headache now, so just the thought of it gives me the headache. Um, but actually, I am very fine with cutting my hair. I have no issue when I go for haircut. Um, try to think who cut my hair. So when I first did my first chop, I went to an, I think it was an Arabic barber. It was, <laughs> it was so funny. So I had just taken braids out. I was just so sick and tired of the braids. I just, I guess it was something going on on that day. Because as soon as I took the braids out, I'm like, I don't, I don't like my hair anymore. So I didn't even, I washed the hair. Did I wash the hair? Yep, I did wash the hair. I had bought a couple of packs of hair from Amazon and was thinking of, this was weeks prior, I was thinking of putting braids in my hair. So I had ordered some hair from Amazon. Um, there is no hair store closer to me here. Um, they Closest hair store is about 30 45 minutes. And so I ordered hair from Amazon whilst I had braids in. That was earlier during the year, somewhere. And so when I took the braids out, I had this weird feeling of uh -uh, I'm tired of this, I need to get rid of this. It was so hard. I don't know. So I just washed the hair, went out on a hands for a salon for somebody to cut my hair. So I ended up going to the mall. Mind you, I live in a neighborhood where is very diverse and when i say diverse it's only or mainly 
Mexicans, Indians, and Asians. So, the kind of salons that do our hair is not around here. And so I ended up going to the mall and going to the salon where an Arab guy put a razor to my head. So of course I showed him a picture of the hair I wanted. He just put the razor to the head. No, actually he washed my hair first, then put a razor to it. I was so upset because that wasn't even what I got, but I guess I wanted the hair gone so much that I didn't really care. And so after his haircut, I found um, a Ghanaian barber, actually in Maryland. So I had to drive down to Maryland to go get a haircut. And so, yeah. And so he was the last person that cut my hair. And actually, since then, I haven't, I think that was in May. Yeah, and this is December. Since then, I haven't been back. Um, I didn't want to get into the habit of getting used to cutting my hair. Like I said, I had cut the sides short and the top, I wanted to grow up. So I didn't want to get into the habit of always keeping my sides short to make me look like a male. So I did a cut in May and never went back. Um, I was going to grow the tata because eventually I would like it as an afro. And so that's what I'm doing now. To I'm now um, growing the sides. And so this is just one pack. I'm still on one pack of hair. So as you can tell, it's going to be after I finish. Um, I may just use two packs since this is pretty beautiful. So let me know if you have short hair or even if you have long hair, how you do your crochet or what's your best? Do you like braids or do you like crochet the best? And if you do like crochet, what is your favorite style? Do you do your own hair or do you go to the salon? But to me, I think this is very easy. Anybody can do this. Most times it's hard for people to do cornrow. Not everybody knows how to do cornrow. Uh, many years ago, I had learned how to do cornrow because, as always, I wanted to do my own hair. So let me know if you do crochets and what's your favorite style. And if you do have short hair, what's the easiest method you use? to do your hair. And so since I'm not in front of a mirror, I'm just feeling around for each joint here. And I put the hair on each joint.
to show you this one. So we're just going to put the needle in. Just hook the hair onto the hook. Pull it through. Open it up. And pull it through. up with of course it drops as time goes on as the curls becomes loose it's going to drop so I'm not going to I could trim it but I think for right now I just want to leave it alone because I've been pulling on my scar and it's kind of getting a little irritated so I'm going to leave this alone so it cools down um, I am pleased with it so far is better than wearing the hats. I'm kind of getting tired of wearing hats. So, I will take this over the hat. Let me know if you like it. I got hair! I got hair! <laughs> Alright. Later. <laughs>